But first, Taiwan's Kuomintang party leader, Hong Su Chu, is on a five-day trip to the Chinese mainland. She's leading a delegation of more than 200 people to strengthen cross-strait exchanges and promote trade. For more, we're joined by our reporter, Huang Hui, live from Beijing. Huang Hui, tell us more about this visit. Well, during her stay in Beijing, Hong met with Chinese President Xi Jinping and reaffirmed her party's commitment to the 1992 consensus. The consensus being there is one China. She also attended panel discussions on economic and youth issues at the Cross Straits Peace Development Forum, which ends Thursday. Her visit has come at a critical point in time for her party. The Kuomintang lost last January's leadership election. Chinese mainland Taiwan relations have since cooled. The current Taiwan leader Tsai Ing-wen has not acknowledged China's 1992 consensus. At the forum, China's Taiwan Affairs Office emphasized its importance. The 1992 consensus is the political foundation of the peaceful development of cross-street relations. It's the basic premise of the two sides to build mutual trust and have peaceful interactions. If we lose this premise, we will have no way to build a mutual trust, and all aspects of a relationship's peaceful development will be damaged. Hong values the bridge her party has built with the Communist Party of China. She says that's something the KMT Party will make every effort to strengthen. Her remarks have reassured Taiwanese students studying on the Chinese mainland as well as business people operating there. Now, Wang Wei, you touched on the business aspect. So can you tell us more about the cross-strait economic relations? Well, according to China's Ministry of Commerce, trade between the two sides was nearly $128 billion in the first three quarters of the year. That's a drop of 7% compared with 2015. The region of Taiwan is ranked as the Chinese mainland's seventh largest trading partner. The ministry says there is also demand for, Ta for Taiwanese companies to invest in the Chinese mainland, with the total investments up nearly 29% to $1.55 billion in the January to September period. The KMT leader Hang Su Chu encourages Taiwanese businesses to grasp the opportunities created by the Chinese mainland's economic shift. She also says the Belt and Road Initiative, as well as Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, could unleash huge potential for cooperation. Back to you. Thank you. That was Huang Wei there, live for us from Beijing.